like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. With around 32,000 fish species in the world, our oceans and seas are full of life. There are creatures with every kind of beautiful color and shape. And while it's usually the bigger ones that scare us, smaller ones are potentially more dangerous because of the poisons they pack. If you eat or touch them, you could even die. Do you know which ones they are? See for yourself in this video. Number 10. Stargazer You can't deny, this is probably one of the coolest animal names. It all comes from their eyes, large and mounted right on top of its head. And they play a significant role in the fish's hunting life. To catch prey, the stargazer buries itself at the bottom of the ocean and shoots upward in case an animal passes by. To even increase the chances of attracting a passing meal, some species of the stargazer have a worm-like growth on the floor of their mouths. All they have to do is wave it and the potential prey will swim towards them, only to get devoured. The most interesting part about is the stargazer's ability to deliver both an electric shock and venom to its victims. So it's pretty much impossible for a target prey to get away as soon as it lands within the stargazer's reach. While all stargazer species deliver their venom via two large spines, the means of generating shock vary across the family. In some species, the shock originates from a set of modified eye muscles, while in others, electricity is generated in the sonic muscles. While lethal to most marine prey, stargazers' venom doesn't pose harm to humans, so the fish are eaten around the world without the need for any special preparation. Well, as long as you carefully remove the bile and electric organ. Number 9. The Crown of Thorn Starfish The Crown of Thorn Starfish is a kind of sea star so named for its spines that cover its body and arms. The sharp spines on the sides of the starfish limbs resemble thorns and create a crown-like shape, giving the creature its name. These thorns are extremely sharp and more than capable of piercing through standard wetsuits and other clothing. They are pretty flexible as well and are used by the animal to move around the ocean floor. This species is a well-known coral predator and outbreaks of tens of thousands of individuals have been known to destroy entire reef systems. However, they're not only dangerous to corals but humans as well. The crown of thorns produces a neurotoxin that can be released through its spines. Not only are the wounds themselves serious, but the neurotoxin Toxin can cause a sharp stinging pain that can last for hours, as well as nausea and vomiting. Frequently, the area around the wound turns a dark blue and begins to swell, which may persist for weeks. The spines themselves may break off and become embedded inside the skin. This can lead to infection and increased toxicity. Number 8. Stonefish The next predator on our list has a camouflage beyond compare, which adds danger if you happen to be a super venomous creature like a stonefish. Let us introduce you to the stonefish fish, also known as the most venomous fish in the world. These fellows might not be more than 30 to 40 centimeters long, but they are living proof of the fact that you don't need to have to be great in order to be a threat. The venom of the stonefish can cause excruciating pain, temporary paralysis, and even heart failure. Good thing there are some pretty effective antidotes available, right? The reassuring fact for divers is that stonefish won't actually attack you. These creatures use their venom only as a defensive mechanism and kill their prey with quick attacks instead. Number 7. Moray Eel Moray eels differ from other eels in having small rounded gill openings and generally lacking pectoral fins. Their skin is thick, smooth, and scaleless. While the mouth is wide and the jaws are equipped with strong sharp teeth which enable them to seize and hold their prey and inflict serious wounds on their enemies including humans. They are apt to attack humans only when disturbed but then they can be quite vicious. Moray eels are usually vividly marked or colored. They generally do not exceed the length of about 1.5 meters. But one species, Thyrsordia mercurius of the Pacific, is known to grow about 3.5 meters long. Now that's a long eel. Morays are eaten in some areas of the world, but their flesh is sometimes toxic and can cause illness or death. One species of moray, Morina helena, found in the Mediterranean, was a great delicacy in the ancient Roman times and was cultivated by them in sea seaside ponds. Number 6. Lionfish To the onlooker, the lionfish is such a beauty with its showy white, creamy, red, and sometimes black bands 
Perhaps that's why these guys are quite popular in home aquariums in the United States. But to the lionfish, the bands are more than just a beauty statement. They're a warning for any ocean predators to keep their distance. That's unless they can withstand the sting of the venomous spines. Most ocean carnivores seem to understand the warning, seeing as the lionfish have very few natural predators. While they keep them safe out there in the ocean waters, lionfish stings can have far-reaching effects on humans. The injected venom causes extreme pain, sweating, heartburn, headache, breathing difficulties, and diarrhea, among other effects. In extreme cases, especially for those with an allergy, the venom can cause heart failure, paralysis, and eventually death. Lionfish are considered a delicacy despite their lethal venom as long as they're prepared well. Number 5. Regal Tang even if you don't know this fish, I'm sure you will recognize her from the pictures. Regal Tang is the famous fish from the movie Finding Nemo. This fish is usually found in Indo-Pacific coral reefs, and it is used as bait for the exhibition in aquariums. It is a relatively harmless fish because it usually eats algae and coral reefs and keeps control of the ecosystem. She may seem sweet, but Dory can cut you like a surgeon because of its sharp spine that can stand erect as a method of defense. It also looks like a scalpel. This little surgeon is edible despite its danger. But be careful, you may have ciguatera, which is food poisoning from ingesting fish that feed on or live in coral reefs. If you eat this marine animal, you may not die, but you will experience the worst diarrhea of your life. So go easy on Dory. Number four, the flower urchin. Moving away from fish for a while, many of you will have come across sea urchins at some point and some will have found out the hard way what those sharp spines are for. I certainly have. However, the flower urchin is in a league of its own when it comes to defensive weaponry. Described by the Guinness Book of Records as the world's most dangerous sea urchin, this is one a shinoderm you don't want to be standing on. What makes this urchin deadly is the potent venom it is armed with. The venom contains at least two dangerous toxins. Contractin A, a neurotoxin that causes spasms of the smooth muscle, and pedotoxin toxin a protein toxin that can cause convulsions, anaphylactic type shock, and death. The venom is delivered via the pedicillary. Those are the flower-like structures that give the urchin its name. Once contact with the skin, the pedicillary often breaks off and continues pumping poison into the victim. Number 3. Stingrays Although the chances of you being stung by a stingray are next to nothing, they still deserve to be called one of the deadliest animals in the ocean. They come armed with a long, thin, whip-like tail, at the end of which is either one or more barbed spines. Each spine contains venom, and the stingray's tail can pack a powerful, incredibly painful sting. When stung, you'll feel immediate severe pain at the wound site. If you're really unlucky, and the barb has punctured your throat, neck, abdomen, or chest, or has pierced completely through a part of your body, you better get some help ASAP. Otherwise, what happened to renowned naturalist Steve Irwin might happen to you. Fortunately, stingrays don't actively go swimming around stinging people at random. Most stings happen when a diver accidentally steps on one, a common occurrence, since these guys like to lie half buried in the ocean floor. So when diving in stingray country, watch your step since the venom of these creatures is extremely painful and and some stingray species can be fatal to humans. Number 2. Pufferfish Easily one of the most dangerous fish in the world is the pufferfish. There are more than 120 species of pufferfish, and they can range in size from 1 inch long to more than 2 feet. They have large spines on their skin that are only visible when puffed up. However, looking fierce is not their only weapon, as most pufferfish contains tetrodotoxin. Tetrodotoxin is a powerful poison that is 1,200 times more deadly than cyanide. The powerful poison is located in the, in the puffer fish's liver, ovaries, and intestines. Although even touching them is dangerous, and one fish contains enough toxin to kill 30 adult humans. What's even more chilling is that there is no known antidote. Puffer fish are also a Japanese delicacy known as fugu. Chefs must undertake rigorous training and hold a special license before they are allowed to prepare the food. Even the slightest mistake could be deadly. And diners are literally dicing with death. The tiniest amount of poison can cause paralysis and death, although the unlucky person is conscious until the end. 
Number 1. Box Jellyfish Whilst they look innocent enough, box jellyfish happens to be one of the ocean's deadliest animals. The most dangerous members of the class of jellyfish are usually confined to the Indo-Pacific Ocean, but other less dangerous members can be found throughout the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Stings from these little cnidarians are extremely painful to humans and can be fatal if left untreated. Even less venomous species can still be potentially fatal to children. Each of the tentacles is packed with with a harpoon-shaped microscopic injector, specifically adapted to inject venom into their prey on contact. Box jellyfish venom causes their prey cells to become porous, causing potassium leakage that eventually causes hyperkalemia. This can lead to heart failure, and death can ensue as quickly as 2 to 5 minutes after exposure. Which one of these fishes have you seen in real life? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Hit the bell icon so you can be reminded whenever we post a video. See you in the next one.